In this video I will show you two ways how to turn a forward moving animation to an in place one and I will use this animation from Mixamo for demonstration. You may already be familiar with the official method as described in the documentation. You need to select the character center of mass in point controller mode and make sure to select the whole interval. Then enable trajectory edit mode at the top and select all of the keyframes and you need to set the pivot point to the very first keyframe which will be this one and switch to the scale tool and I will do it in side view you need to scale down the trajectory of the center of mass until it only moves on the y and x planes in this example the character moves forward on the z-axis which is shown with the blue arrow. So what we are doing here is to ensure that the center of mass doesn't move forward but still moves sideways and up and down. The same effect can be achieved using the copier tool and this method is faster and more accurate. The objective is to maintain the constant z position for the center of mass while allowing motion in the x and y direction. So we will need to go to the copier tool and select only the z position to copy and disable copying for all other parameters. This ensures that only the z position will be affected. Select the entire interval where you want the center of mass to be maintained and go to the first frame or the desired frame and copy its position using either Ctrl C or a copy option from the edit menu. Then make sure that the entire interval is selected and paste the copied position for the whole interval. You can use the Ctrl Alt V shortcut or paste into interval from the edit menu. And we have the same motion as before. And as you can see, the interpolation for the body turned into a fixed one. If you don't want the interpolation to change, you can deactivate the fixed interpolation here. And then if you paste the points again, then the interpolation will be kept. But as you can see, you will have some forward and backward motion in, in this case. Because the changes will only apply to the keyframes. Thanks for watching the video. See you in the next one. Bye.